This pool party will be the setting for a trick of biblical proportions. The magician has something in mind to impress the ladies. So he's surprising the partygoers with an illusion that certain street magicians have used to deceive millions of fans, tricking them into thinking they have powers from beyond this world. He commands us to take a good look at this swimming pool, filled, of course, with water and innocent spectators. Watch. The magician summons his magical powers. Steps to the edge of the pool. and down into the water. He doesn't sink. Instead, he is walking on water. I told you this was biblical. While surrounded by spectators, the magician is walking across the surface of the water. Remember, there are no camera tricks, and that is really the magician marching across the pool. From this angle, we can see as his feet are treading on top of the water, a spectator swims underneath him. This is truly a modern day miracle. The girl swims back under as he continues to walk straight across the water. The surrounding spectators are in disbelief. He's halfway across and still walking. There is no credible explanation for how this is being accomplished. It must be through his powers of intense concentration and belief in the impossible. He's almost there. He's made it. The mass magician has demonstrated the most amazing feat of all, walking on water. We just saw the mass magician attempt a feat that has been written about for more than 2,000 years, walking on water. And he did it in a pool surrounded by spectators and his beautiful assistants. So how did the magician create the illusion of walking on water? The secret lies within this industrial grade clear plexiglass. The plexi is mounted on clear plexiglass legs. When it is submerged in the water and photographed from the correct angles, the plexiglass is invisible and impossible to detect. But as the camera angle changes, the plexiglass becomes visible. The next secret is that the assistants and innocent spectators in the pool have been paid to act like they can't see the plexiglass platforms. The platforms in this illusion have been constructed in various size planks and are supported by the clear legs that reach the bottom of the pool. The platforms are long and narrow and are best seen from low angles. The platforms are hard to see from the sides, so the camera angles are carefully chosen and plotted out to make the trick believable. One of the platforms is built extra wide and used for the camera angles looking straight down into the pool. It's wide so that the edges of the plank, which are hardest to disguise, are always just outside of camera range. Here it is again from a wider angle where you can see the edges. Now they're raised slightly above the surface, so you can see the gaps in between that the magician simply steps across. The gaps give room for the paid spectators to swim in between, disguising the submerged plexiglass legs and drawing attention away from the edges of the planks. They further convince the audience that there is nothing suspicious in the water. Notice how the assistants and spectators are splashing and making waves? The moving water also helps to draw attention away from the deception. 
When the water in the pool is moving, it's much more difficult to see the platforms. Walking on water, not so miraculous when you know the secrets.